Hello there friends, today is March 16, 2024 and today we are going to discuss the value of this Anthony Richardson rookie card. It's a green prism from the 2023 Panini Prism football set. It's card number 343. As you can see, we've collected 15 comps. We're going to discuss those comps, establish fair value, and give you some first, second, and final offers that might be useful when you're trading for this card. As you can see on the right-hand side, we do have those 15 comps here. Those will be used uh, quite often in this video. And as you can see, they were taken from eBay sales. These are recent sales that have happened on auction, no buy it nows, no best offers, just strictly auction things that people are fighting for. The graph, as you can see, we do have uh, a few peaks and those typically depict particularly nice cards. People are looking to get this card graded for sure and that's why I insist personally on buying in person because these numbers are going to be helpful. However, I like to see the quality of the card in person before I make my decisions. I wanna make sure those edges are clean, those corners are nice and sharp, and the surface is scratch and scratch free and clean. So um, that's what the purpose of this is for. We've got a nice about 150% swing from low to high on this, which means there's potential to make some profit if you grab the right card. Down below, let's talk about the meat and potatoes. So as you can see, top right corner, there's been 20 PSA submissions. Six of them have come back as tens, and that's a 30% clip. Uh, blue down here at the bottom uh, represents the average bid price paid in order to win one of these cards on auction comes to $44.62. Next to that we've got a $4.72 average shipping price and then the total all-in price of $49.33 to have this card shipped to your door. Now these numbers are not what I would consider to be fair value because there are fees that everybody must pay in order to sell their cards online. And that ranges between 13 and 15%. So that is what this orange represents. This is what the sellers are taking home after selling this card. I call this fair market value, $38.41. I still like to get in under that by deploying a, uh, basically a stop light strategy. We've got green, which is a first offer and represents 70% of the value that is in the blue. Uh, so this comes to $31.23, generally my first offer. Second offer is yellow. We got to slow it on down, right? That's a 75% offer, $33.46. And usually a hard stop is $35.69, and that's an 80% price point. Now, let's also consider getting into the bottom third of sales because I find that to be just as important. So we sort this column ascending and drop down five. One, two, three, four, five. Thirty dollars and ninety-three cents gets me into the bottom third of sales. Now that's actually below the green and that's an important number to figure because it looks like we might be able to get our hands on a card for a lot cheaper than we thought. So that means that the green 70% offer is my final offer now. I switch that up once we see these changes in pricing. Now, why has that happened? Well, it's entirely possible that those high peaks, the two in fact, actually brought these averages up a little higher than they normally would be. So that's why I always look at the bottom third of sales as well. Now, if you wanna sell in the top third of sales, you go five from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, it looks like $42.10. Could sell this card if you got in at 31, sold at 42, make about an $11 profit, which amounts to about a $49 buy it now on eBay. All right, that's what I value this card at, and those are my offers. Let me know if this helped you down below.